Hi. Now, the most common question I am still getting asked is what is it like to walk on a prosthetic leg? Now, there is no way that I can realistically describe that to you because you do not know what it's like to not have a leg because you probably have one. So how can I possibly describe what it's like to walk on a prosthetic leg? But the closest sort of thing that I can come to is imagine a really tight grip around your leg just below the knee and imagine that grip tightens each time you walk. That's kind of what it's like because the socket is where the load bearing is. So the load bearing is all around my leg below the knee, not on the end of my leg, not my new end because the bone is not supposed to take weight. So the weight goes around the leg below the knee and the socket comes up to the sides of the knee and rests on the side of the knee. But I can't really describe to you what it's like because, well, you, you still have two feet, um, but it's a whole different set of muscle activations. And like I've said to you before, you can lift your, your heels up and go onto tiptoes and that's how you propel yourself forward. I don't have a calf anymore. Well, I don't have a calf in the position it used to be in. The calf is now in a different position and it doesn't do its the job it used to do. So I can't toe off. Now, I noticed this morning the toes on my prosthetic foot do have some bend in them, which makes the walk look more natural when I lift the foot off the floor at the back but in order to do that, I am lifting my leg with my hamstring and glute because I don't have a calf. So it's really hard to explain. Anyway, what I'm going to do tomorrow, if I can find a space big enough and quiet enough, I will explain and show you what actions I have to go through in order to walk with a prosthetic leg and make it look reasonably normal. Um, I still am not allowed to put all the weight through the left side because I've still got some wounds that haven't quite healed and we don't want to put too much pressure on them. But I am able to walk um, evenly with an even gait, even though my crutches are supporting my left leg partially. Now, here's the exercises the physio gave me to do in addition to the other stuff I've got to do. The reason for these ones are is because this left leg has done nothing for the ever since the lower end of it got chopped off. This leg has not done anything apart from hang there and I have not been able to add any resistance to it at all um, until they put the leg on. And so what we're doing at the moment is we are using the weight of the prosthetic leg as the resistance and we are trying to get the quads, hamstrings and glutes activating again on that left side. Now I know that it's reasonably common to actually never get the two quad muscles to the same uh, muscle bulk again um, because the left leg is doing a different job now but we'll see how we go. What I needed to do though is I needed to be strong enough to carry me when I'm walking um, and not to give me fatigue or anything like that. I have found my right leg is thanking me for a little bit of help from my left, even though I'm still using crutches and it's not completely even. What we're aiming for in the end is 50-50 to start with so that I can stand on both feet evenly. I'm almost, but not quite there. Then we're going to start to overload the left. So eventually I can stand on the left leg on its own. And that's what I need to be able to do in order to walk. Oh, should I say, walk without crutches. So what happens with the crutches? Well, once I'm able to offload a little bit off the crutches, then we go to one crutch on the opposite side. So that makes me lean over the away from the leg and gets me used to not having the two crutch support. Then we swap to the same side. That makes me lean towards the leg and make, um, helps to get me used to trusting that leg for support. Then we go to none. Now, when I get to no crutches, that'll be a momentous day because I've not been able to walk with no crutches for more than a year, even when I had two feet. So that'll be an exciting day when I get to that. Now I'm just going to give you a little lowdown on the crutches. I had a lot of people actually comment on the crutches in the picture that I took yesterday. Now I took this picture because I need to get used to looking at myself in in its new form. So I the the no leg 
and standing on crutches without a foot looks very strange. I'm kind of getting used to the two feet and one leg looks slightly different to that. I think my, I'm gonna, my mind will wrap around that a little bit better. And I do feel better about this, the body image when I'm standing up on two feet, even though one's not mine. But I've had a lot of people asking me about these crutches. Now these crutches are made by side sticks. Now that's an international brand and they've got an in, uh, Instagram account and all sorts of things. So I'm sure you can get a stockist near you and I cannot rate them highly enough. Now I was looking for crutches better than the public health system crutches I got because they um, were very uncomfortable and were giving me blisters. This is when I had two feet and I wasn't able to walk very far before I got blisters on the, on the heel of my hand. That's why I originally started looking for them. I did not in, in envision and need them forever. Now these are, crutches are carbon fibre so they're a lot more sturdy than the aluminium based ones you get from a hospital and you'll notice that the hand shape is slightly different and that means that instead of all the weight going on across the heel of my hand it's spread out across this shaped grip and there's a left and a right side. The other thing that I've really noticed about these crutches is that there's a side opening. I didn't really understand the significance of this to begin with, but what it means is that I can have my crutches on my arm, lift my arm to do something and they don't fall off because often I need them, but I also need my hands. So it makes it really easy to do this. They are also very, very sturdy. Let me show you very very sturdy and when the opening is at the front and you lean forward it the gate opening opens a little bit on the side i just don't have that i totally trust these crutches with only one foot which is just as well really so that's my side sticks crutches now i will do this compared uh, to the others on another day but i've got different ankles for my crutches so these ones twist and bend like ankles and it makes it eat better and less slippy when I'm traveling through. So if you imagine you travel through like that with, your, with the crutch on the floor. I've also got the normal rubber bottoms, they're called tornado tips and they are adjustable by changing them here. And I've got a shoe that goes over the top with jaggedy bottom on it that is anti-slip for muddy surfaces and off-road. You can also get snow, snowshoes and ice shoes and all sorts of things for these crutches. Now I've seen on the side sticks Instagram, somebody has been up Kilimanjaro with one leg and these crutches to the top. So they are the bee's knees when it comes to crutches. They are not cheap. I accidentally ended up with a 60 minute massage appointment today. The customer wanted an extra bit on the end and he wanted the 60 minute in the appointment, appointment at the beginning, but I refused. So I ended up with 60 minutes. Now, apart from my personal fitness, the leg is coping really well as um, uh, the kneeling on the stool thing is, is working really well. So I've added 45 and 60 up. So apart from the gaps that I need to have in between, because it takes me twice as long, I'm almost up to speed with all the appointments I used to offer only one I still haven't added back in is relaxation. I need one more person to practice on because I'm going to have to change the entire order of the massage. But it's been quite an interesting experience relearning how to do something in an entirely different way. This is the third time I've had to do it with massage because I had to change it all for the knee replacement and now I'm having to change it all again. So it's it's been an interesting journey thus far but now that I'm able to wear the leg and it's not giving me any trouble um, apart from the fact that they're still on crutches feeling a lot happier and I can swim, can't bike, that's a bit frustrating and I'm losing the interest with one leg cycling because it's really hard but other than that feeling positive